Hey guys, this is Desiree and welcome to MM Book Reviews and today I'm going to be giving you a review, sort of, of a makeup product and it is the new Lancome Juicy Shakers. So if this serves as any kind of endorsement for how much I love this product, this is my third time filming this review and not because I messed them up, although the first one was a little uh -uh. Um, it's actually because after I filmed reviews, I have gone online and bought more of these. So each time I got done, I kept finding colors that I really wanted and instead of just saying, oh, I ordered this one and it'll be here soon, I decided to just wait and um, show you guys in the video. But the problem is that happened like four times and that's a little delayed. So nevertheless, here they are. Here's the review. I have eight of these shades. Um, there are 20 shades in the range, which I think is actually very generous. There aren't many um, lines out there that I think contain so many different color ranges. And it's a really great range of colors. It goes everywhere from peachy nudes to, you know, berries to fuchsias to oranges to spicy browns and reds and stuff. I just happen to pick out my favorite ones, but there are a ton of other shades to choose from other than the ones I'm going to be showing you guys today. So here's the original packaging. This is a pigment infused biphase lip oil and I'm not even going to begin to start to go over all of the uh, <laughs> ingredients in this. I'm not that sophisticated and I'm not going to be able to pronounce almost any of them. Here is the actual product itself. It's a little cocktail shaker, guys. How friggin' cute is this? It's just adorable. I can't get over it. So cute, and it makes me want a martini so bad. These are just so cute and so appropriate for the summertime. The new trendy sensation hitting the makeup world right now is, at least the lipstick world, are these lip oils. And I think this one is one of three of them. And out of all three, I think this is the most, um, the least expensive one. These are $21 a piece. That's not cheap. But if you guys are familiar with Lancome, you guys already kind of know you, Lancome is not a cheap drugstore brand. This is a luxury brand. And the only reason why I have eight of these is because last month was my birthday month. I had a shit ton of Ulta points. I was able to get a lot of these. So th this is essentially what all my points and my birthday coupons went to. So the whole idea of these is they're supposed to focus more so on the hydration of your lips and just give a little touch and hint of pigment, a little wash of color, but really focus on that glossy, juicy effect. And these, these are the bomb. Okay, so I'm going to go over some of the colors that I have and swatch them really quick on my arm. No particular order. The first one that I'm holding here is Melly Melon. And I held it up earlier, but we'll just do it again. It's just a nice, um, you know, berry pink color. Not like I said, these are just supposed to be a nice hint of color. So don't let the fact that it looks really opaque in the packaging um, deter you from getting it. It's just, they're really buildable, but it's just supposed to be a nice flush of color and really focus on glossy, juicy lips. These all have fragrances that correspond to the names. So this one is Melly Melon and it smells like bubblicious watermelon gum. This smells like, oh my God, oh, I wanna eat it. I want to drink this bottle. These all have really beautiful fragrances that correspond to their name, but they're not overpowering at all. They won't give you a headache. They're just a nice little light, fresh scent. So before you use these, you are supposed to shake them up because the pigment and the oil will actually separate. Um, so it's kind of like salad dressing. Just gotta shake it up before you use it. And the applicator is a little pointed sponge tip applicator, just like this. So it absorbs the oil and some of the pigment. And you're essentially just supposed to dab it on really, really lightly. This is Melly Melon. I have some of the darker colors in here and they're still really, really mellow. I have one on right now and I'll probably touch it up a little bit um, when I show you guys the swatches. The next one is Mint to Be. It's blue. There's no other way I can say it. This is blue, but it doesn't actually come across on your lips as blue. This serves a purpose. It's actually supposed to make your teeth look a, bit, a little bit whiter. And because this is a minty shade, it does have a mint flavor and a mint fragrance. So it's so, sort of supposed to freshen your breath. Here's a good example of why you need to shake the bottle. You can see that it's separated. 
the oil and the pigment. So you just really want to make sure that you shake it before every use. Minty Bee is right there. So you can barely even tell that it's blue. So it's just going to whiten up your smile just a teeny tiny bit and make that breath minty fresh. Okay, the next one that I have is Freedom of Peach. And this is a peachy pink color. Um, this one, uh, I don't, I mean, I love the color. I think it's beautiful, but I need to wear it over a lip liner or something because it's one of those colors that kind of, con con it doesn't really go with my skin tone and it makes my uh, teeth look kind of yellow. Here is Freedom of Peach. Really beautiful peach color, and it's right here. Really, really beautiful. And this one is another one of my favorite scented ones. It just smells so good. So like I said, I do love this color. I think I'm just going to have to use a lip liner or something under it just to tone it down a little bit. Now, having said that, I do believe that you can actually layer these on top of one another. I don't think you're constrained to use just one color. I do believe you can use them over lipsticks and um, uh, liners and whatnot. But the only thing is I would be cautious about the sponge tip absorbing some of the pigment from the lipstick or um, the lip liner. So make sure it's a bit of a drier formula, I want to say. I wouldn't put this over a satin or a cream lipstick just out of fear of transferring some of uh, the pigment from the lipstick onto the sponge tip. If you guys have tried it, let me know in the comments and tell me if any of the pigment has transferred and if it's ruined the tip or not. I'm a really big cis pot and I'm really worried and I don't want to ruin these because they're so amazing. And I'm completely determined to use this shade, so I guess I'm just going to have to buck up and put my big girl panties on and use this at least over top some lip liner. Okay, so the next one is one of my favorites, and this is Piece of Cake, and this is sort of a rosy pink. They describe it online, on Ulta anyway, as like a terracotta nude, but I don't see this as a terracotta nude. I see this more of as like a mauvey, rosy, dusty rose pink, but it's beautiful. This is the kind of nude that I absolutely go for. So right here is Piece of Cake. Like I said, it's just the perfect dusty rose color, and this is like my version of a nude lipstick. I can't wear the bright pinks or the sandy peaches or those concealer nude lips, which I have so much envy for those of you who can pull that off. I can't. It makes me look like I'm dead or sickly. Dusty roses are my nude colors, and this one is just insanely beautiful. And it does kind of smell like cake. Next one I'm actually wearing now, although... You can probably barely tell it's on there because it's been a while. This one is Good Caramel, and this is the Bordeaux shade. I think this is the darkest shade that they have um, available in the range, but it is just stunning. So this is a warm Bordeaux wine, and I have this one on my lips right now. I'll swatch it for you guys anyway. Um, not nearly as pigmented as it looks in the container, though, so keep that in mind. So here is Good Caramel right there. I'm actually going to put on a little bit right now. This is really hard because I'm looking in my camera and everything is in reverse. This is another one that just smells really good. It kind of smells like suntan lotion. Not really like caramel. It almost has like a coconut kind of scent to it. So putting that on, and it kind of brings me to my next point, and the only thing that I could possibly have an issue with with these, and sponge tip is so soft that it can be kind of easy to go outside of the lip line if you're really not careful, so you have to be really light-handed, because I have had, like, straight-up color and oil go outside of my lip line, and that's not cute. So just be really light-handed and very dainty when you're applying these. The next one is another favorite, and this is It's My Jam, and this is, I think, the cool red of the range. They have another red, and I think it's called Cherry Symphony, but I looked at it, and I swatched it on my arm at Sephora, and it just did not go with my skin tone. So if you guys have pictures of it or videos of um, your experience with these, I would love to see them. It's My Jam. It does kind of smell like jam. It smells almost like a fruit roll-up, I want to say. Really, really nice. A lot of these... Fragrances remind me of my childhood. So here is It's My Jam. The next one, I think, 
is my ultimate, ultimate favorite in the range just because of how versatile it is. This is Show Me the Honey. And this is such a light peachy nude. It smells friggin' amazing. But this I think would work well on everybody because it just sort of evens out your lip tone and it makes your lips look so utterly juicy and natural and wonderful. And so right there is Show Me the Honey. Oh my God, it's just insanely beautiful. I am crazy over this color. And the final one that I have is Vanilla Pop. And it's more of a deep, deeper rose. This is more of a terracotta rose to me, if you ask me, but that's just me. And this is another one that I find myself wearing a lot, um, just because it's stunning. So here is Vanilla Pop. And it does smell uh, sort of vanilla-y. Again, these fragrances are so light. It's just that hint of vanilla and, you know, oh, they're so good. Here is the entire range on my arm and, of course, I did not come prepared with a paper towel. I have eight of these, but there are 20 in the range and I can't recommend these things enough. Uh, they're just beautiful. They really do feel so hydrating without feeling greasy on the lips. And they're just so nice. I find myself wearing them around the house even if I don't have a stitch of makeup on on the rest of my face. I will put these on just because it's that nice little flush of color and that extra hint of hydration. Um, once the oil wears off, there is sort of a little stain, especially with the more pigmented colors or the deeper colors in the range. Um, so that's really cool. So as soon as the oil leaves your lips, um, it's not going to totally wash away the color. There will still be a little hint of color. My only gripe is the sponge tip is really, really soft, so it's easy to make it messy. What, um, it's sort of hard to be precise with it. And the other one is um, I just wish the oil lasted a little bit longer because the oil can go away relatively quickly depending on how much you're eating or if you're drinking anything. Um, without me drinking anything or eating anything, it can go away within like 20 minutes to a half an hour. So I really love that feeling of hydration on my lips that I just wish that it stayed there a little bit more. Alright guys, so I really hope you enjoyed this review of the new Lancome Juicy Shakers. I think these are probably my favorite product of 2016 so far. I'm addicted to them. I love them. I want to buy more shades, but at the same time, my bank account is not going to like me. So I'm just going to deal with the ones I have right now, but still, you don't need to have the whole range. You can go and buy just the colors that you really enjoy like I did. You can buy one or two, one universally beautiful color that you know you'll use all the time. Um, just re be really selective because these are pricey. If you can afford the whole range, holy shit am I jealous of you. So please give this video a thumbs up and let me know your impressions of this product in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you are not already to see some more videos from me and I will see you guys later. Bye.